part. Uh, yesterday we went through uh, fundraising statistics uh, uh, in the US and uh, get to some conclusions. Uh, what conclusions the that conclusions are? Uh, that uh, if you plan to start direct fundraising campaigns, you should uh, plan it around uh, monthly subscriptions. Mm, if you buy some ads traffic, you should uh, uh, you should uh, lead it to pages that allow your donators, potential donators, to subscribe to monthly payments. You should uh, definitely build your email marketing starting from today. Uh, you should reinvest. If you invest in advertising, for example, 1,000 euro, you raised 3,000 euro. And uh, by the end of the month, you should reinvest at least 10% of the funds raised into future ad campaigns. Uh, you should uh, use uh, uh, plug and play tech solutions or uh, invest uh, in your own. And today I will show you um, what do I mean by plug and play fundraising solutions. And um, you should learn how to add effectively because it's more even more important than um, it's uh, out outreach distribution is one of the most important things it allows people to see what you are doing and what uh, great things you're trying to achieve uh and today i would like to start with uh, with uh, google ad grant opportunity um uh, I have to mention that it I isn't uh, eligible for uh, for most of Eastern Partnership countries, so it makes sense to open an NGO nonprofit um, in eligible country because it's a really cool opportunity uh, to promote your campaigns, to uh, raise money, to like uh, raise awareness about your nonprofit. Uh, and what what does it provide? Mm, it provides basically 10k uh, US dollars in ad spendings uh, monthly. Uh, yeah, it's a big, actually a big amount of money. Also, it provides a uh, free Google workspace. Uh, you have to go to Google for nonprofits website. Uh, choose Google Ad Grants and register in a program. Uh, mo mm, mostly all organizations, charities, nonprofits are eligible for that, but uh, you have to be a resident of certain allowed countries. Mostly it's uh, EU countries, it's US uh, for sure, it's uh, Britain. Uh, so it makes sense to, to register uh, your nonprofit in one of that countries to apply for. And um, application is pretty simple. You just submit your registration documents, um, go through some kind of compliance, uh, and that's it. You receive your 10K for monthly ad spendings. And uh, then, then um, Google will check each month um, how you spend this money. Uh, requirements for spendings are pretty simple. Uh, you have to um, you have to create account with uh, some relevant structure, like uh, have one campaign uh, inside that one campaign two ad groups. We will do it today, by the way. Uh, all of that and inside one ad uh, group two ads. Uh, it's pretty simple requirement. Uh, mm, requirement that is not that simple is uh, five percent uh, CTR. Uh, your ads uh, must get each month. Uh, what does it mean? That out of uh, 100 people who see your ad, five should click on, on it. Um, why, <laughs> why Google has such a requirement? Basically, for, uh, for you to run a relevant ad. Uh, so, yeah. Um, it sounds really uh, like uh, it sounds nearly fantastic to receive 10k in ad spending each month. So um, um, I I would see uh, on your place I would think it's even kind of a scam offer. But uh, no, they really deliver 10k in ad spending each month, but with certain 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 uh, certain problems. Uh, for example, that 
Yeah, that's a return on advertising spending from Google Ads grants. Um, it is the it is significantly lower than return on advertising spending um, from just paid ads. Yeah, so what does it mean? That, for example, cultural nonprofits spend it one uh, spend it ten k and received uh, seven thousand five hundred k in donations for the spendings. Uh, it's um, it's uh, yeah, as I said, it's significantly lower than uh, regular returns from advertising campaigns uh, and the reasons for that uh, are mostly that you can't um, can't um, uh, your cost pay per click uh, cap is to two dollars so you can't uh, put it higher and that your ads will be shown um, lower than uh, ads um, for that uh, launched for real money but by the end of the day, it is still free money, free advertising space for your nonprofit. Uh, and uh, as you see, I believe uh, every nonprofit for uh, this webinar is applied to that small category. That is uh, nonprofits that raise uh, less than 500k, uh, 500 thousand dollars per year. Uh, for small nonprofits, returns uh, are. Uh, 0 0.2 almost so you can convert that grant into thousand dollars of uh, in average uh, of donations so 24k per year in free donations still pretty cool um also worth to mention that um, uh, um, that you will receive about uh, fifty thousand k of ad additional site visitors in in like on average uh, yeah uh, for sp uh, during spending that grant so so an anyway if you have an opportunity if you ha already have reg um, eligible re um, uh, nonprofits in eligible countries. Take the chance, register, and claim your ad grant. Uh, it's it, it will do the best job for your campaigns. Uh, uh, last uh, uh, yesterday we stopped on setting up analytics, and uh, as I said yesterday, um, before launching your ads, you should set up your Google Analytics account uh, through uh, preferably through google tech manager uh yeah um if you if you rewind what google tech manager is it is a system that allows you to implement scripts into your website without directly editing it uh here we have some uh text uh, uh that's uh, that's a pushed in uh, that um, placed into uh, Google Tag Manager container through that visual interface. So you don't have to edit your site website uh, every time you want to add some conversion event. As you see, um, for example, here we have a donation, uh, donation uh, event. It is implemented uh, directly through google tech manager and um, like uh, and uh, we have a lot of events here google analytics uh, also is implemented through google tech manager and to uh, to uh, place uh, that container into your website you have to add, just add two lines of code uh, into different sections of your website after that you can use it you can edit your text uh, tags cre create them and uh, choose on which page to fire them yeah to fire them it means um, that they will work on certain pages and you choose it's called triggering yeah we have to uh, there a lot of you can create custom triggers for example to fire tag when someone uh, feels contact us form or to fire attack when someone fills registration form. Uh, yeah. Um, 
the city. Uh, Google Analytics itself is a powerful system um, that allows you to track your visitors uh, in every possible way uh, you want uh, by measure them by geography, measure them by uh, uh, by um, like um, conversions by events they uh, triggered uh, count um, count your like performance uh, of your charity of web your website of your fundraising campaigns uh, yeah uh, in Google Analytics is linked with Google Ads uh, that uh, uh, um, and uh, there is a special 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 place in analytics where you can like track performance of your advertising i believe i didn't launch any campaigns for savers because it was closed um but maybe we can find some historical data here No, we can't find it. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, you uh, before creating Google Ads, you should link uh, create Google Analytics and uh, then link it with your Google Ads account. Okay. Uh, that's how Google dashboard looks after onboarding. In onboarding, you have to uh, pay him, <laughs> pay, enter your payment date, uh, basically your basic information about who pays for campaigns uh, and uh, verify it by paying $10 uh, as he tried to charge me. Yeah. Uh, here is how account works and to start creating campaign, you should at first have, uh, uh, you have to choose some keywords, uh, by which your ads will be shown. Uh, today you have basically two ways to, uh, to do it. You can either um, like do some research, uh, and find keywords that, um, are already um, already um, searched by people or you uh, it is done through planning keyword planner you can use our best friend chat gpt and ask him to generate keywords for for, for, for you uh, i want uh, to do it you just write Uh, campaign promoting uh, my shelter verse of um, give me some keywords. Um, yeah, uh, we get back to uh, Keywords Planner. Here you can choose uh, location where you are doing your research. And uh, like, uh, and print initial search query by, uh, by uh, that you want to like um, use as refer to, uh, to search key keywords that will be um, that will be searched around Google. Uh, as you see, not very much um, that's made because of language we uh, we choose. Okay, uh, here we have some keyword suggestions uh, that can we can choose and copy into our future campaign 
I'm glad that will be enough for an example. Um, then you click just create campaign. And uh, here you can choose type of campaign you're uh, going to um, to create. Uh, for us, it will be website traffic, obviously, because um, all, uh, all other types of campaigns uh, are non-relevant. For example, apps, sales, uh, sales are for shopping ads, apps for apps promotion, awareness uh, are for mostly uh, banner-rich campaigns. So we will create a website traffic campaign. And here, if you have already uh, connected Google Analytics account, you can choose conversion goals uh, that will allow Google to optimize its uh, per performance and how your app ads are shown. Uh, uh, here, what you can choose placements where your ads will be shown. Uh, we choose ads search, obviously. Yeah put our website link here and click continue button. Uh, here we should choose what we would like to focus on. Um, my best um, recommendation is at the first stage you can choose basically um, clicks. Then when um, when uh, your campaign after two or three weeks, when your campaign will be automated, uh, automated enough, when Google will gain enough data, you can uh, switch to conversions. But at first, when there is zero conversions count, when um, Google uh, Google AI doesn't um, doesn't understand what you are promoting, you can. Uh, it's better to choose click and uh, set up uh, maximum bid uh, maximum bid is basically is basically price that you are paying for each click uh, and uh, if you place one dollar here uh, google uh, won't show uh, uh, won't charge uh, and won't uh, won't charge you more than one dollar but your ad won't be shown uh, if someone will put Two dollars here. It's um auction, uh, auction based principle. Yeah, so <laughs> who beats uh, the, the the higher price? Uh, higher, higher. If your price is higher, you show higher. So yeah, um, but for, for the very start, um, I propose to put one dollar here. Uh, you can switch this off, off obviously, because um, uh, part search partners uh, are non relevant, so they will just hit your traffic. Here, you choose location, location options. Uh, you can choose basically city, region, or some postal code, even to show in very specific targets. Uh, but um, if it is direct fundraising campaign, I recommend to to use uh, capital of your country as uh, basic targeting uh, as basic targeting because um, just from my experience, people donate better uh, in capitals. Uh, here is options that uh, doesn't make sense for me, yeah, because uh, if you delete language, some it makes sense, but in very rare rare cases, yeah. Um, because if you delete any language, uh, your um, ads will be shown for users of all languages. Uh, audience segments are not important for us here because we show our ads by by search queries, not by audiences like in, like we did in Facebook. Yeah. Uh, more settings here you can set up start and end date uh, uh, choose principle of ad rotation you shouldn't uh, change every, anything here basically 
keywords. Uh, here you can either uh, allow Google AI to, cre uh, to create your ads or create it yourself. You will do it yourself. Yeah. Copy. Okay. Now we have them here. Uh, here you can use uh, Google AI to, to that will help you to create headlines and descriptions for your ads. And um, I don't think it's actually a, a bad idea to 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 uh, to use it. And okay. Here you put yeah headlines. Here you put uh, oh so many headlines. Hmm. Animal filter. Mm. Uh, actually, he needs so many headlines, like to to be able to mix them, to because uh, they don't have uh, uh, all of them will have different performance for your end users. So he needs uh, them to to mix to show one headline without this one description to show other headline with other description and figure out which ad performs in a better way now we will use support okay He generated two headlines for us to review. And they are pretty fine, I believe. Like nothing, nothing special, but but still. Uh, now generate descriptions. Okay. That's it. Um, thank you. Thank you, Google Gemini for oh, assistance. Uh, here you can add some images, but um, they won't probably show. Images have a very, very specific placement requirements. So, yeah. Uh, here you can see how Google rates your ad strengths. It rates now as uh, poor. Uh, and it wants basically us to add more more content, more headlines, uh, more include more keywords. Uh, and uh, this uh, rating is basically uh, uh, how he will uh, compare your ad with others. There is a very complicated system, auction based system. It uh, depends on amount of money you put. Uh, um, you put for an ad uh, your ad strengths, relevancy of um, keywords uh, for, with your website, your website rating, and this will uh, like um, decrease our ads performance. Uh, so when you are setting up real campaign, uh, put as many headlines as possible. Make system like. Um, uh, until system will love them, yeah. Here you can see how your ad will look at the search. And here you can add some um, additional additional blocks to your ads. Uh, for example, site links. What is site links? Site links uh, is uh, another links that can be shown around your ad. We are uh, we are putting just uh, one traffic uh, one uh, one link because we don't have any website. We have just donation form. Uh, here you can add some 
callouts, it's uh, like uh, like additional descriptions. As you see, they are adding to the text, yeah. And here are other assets types. Uh, I would recommend, obviously, add a phone number. Because uh, because um, uh, uh, it improves performance of your ads. Uh, and uh, maybe structural snippets, they are improving performance in Google Eyes even more. Um, Mm. Okay. Uh, it's sometimes it's like um, <laughs> uh, not easy uh, to choose, but uh, you can be creative and. <laughs> uh, and uh, like com compare them with something that you want to tell in your ad. Um, after that, uh, after your ad creates it, you can basically launch your campaign. Um, as you see, we don't have any errors. And our seven keywords uh, are legible uh, to show in Google. Uh, I will switch it off, obviously. <laughs> that's, that's not the type of campaign I want to, to spend my money on. Uh, here you will have um, statistics uh, of your ads. Yeah, uh, basically their cost, uh, average uh, cost per thousand views, uh, Im impressions, uh, clicks, um, interaction rates. That that is rate I was talking about uh, CTR. Uh, that makes your ads unelegible for Google grants if your CTR drops lower than 5%. Yeah. Uh, as you see, it's not very hard to, to have high CTR. Uh, and uh, here, uh, Google um, counts your conversions if you, if you set it up Google Analytics. Um, basically, that's how um, easiest Google Ads campaigns are setting up. Uh, maybe, maybe there are some questions. Thanks, Yuri. We have we have one question in the Q and A. Okay. Uh, Luba Luba is asking if I want to target with Google Ads specific people like my country diaspora in the EU or the diaspora in the USA. How can I go about it? Uh, you can choose, uh, that was an uh, option I was talking about, for example, uh, uh, language. Uh, I don't use it, uh, yeah, uh, but you can uh, choose uh, USA as location and your language uh, as um, as language on, uh, on, on what ads uh, are shown, yeah, and uh, it will be seen by people from your speaking your language basically uh okay and then uh moving next um uh we created uh, we <laughs> created uh, uh ad campaign for example and we need uh, to place to um, to uh, people will click ads and they will go to certain pages 
and we need uh, to accept uh, money donations on that pages. Uh, what what can we do? We we can either uh, create uh, like um, a website, um, uh, learn to code, uh, attract some developers for that, uh, or we can use donation forms builder and like that, yeah and create our donation forms that allow to collect donations uh, regularly and then just place that forms into into our existing website if we have one and or if we don't have website just share it by the link yeah can choose for example two dogs let's be two dogs here yeah. uh, design some settings people by the way people really love memory forms uh, even if you're doing your own donation form uh, about 33% of all donators um, are happy. What is memory form? It's like basically, it's, uh, yeah. Um, it's uh, a form that allows to dedicate donation amount um, for some, uh, for, for some man or uh, for some like uh, event. Yeah. And uh, people really use it from uh, my analytics. Um, they dedicate it mostly to funerals and to some holidays. Yeah. Uh, then uh, you can connect Stripe account and basically receive donations from uh, day one. We can connect Stripe account. But I can show some charities that connected it. Yeah. And we can just skip step with Stripe account here. Connected. Yeah. Uh, here some legal stuff, uh, GDPR and uh, privacy policy links. And then you can um, either implement it in, into your existing website uh, through adding simple code or just share by link and uh, raise raise money basically through sharing uh, your link uh, at uh, uh, social media okay thanks yuri um actually i'm just looking again in the q a luba who asked the question about targeting uh, a particular diaspora in another country um mentions that actually the the language option maybe will not work in this situation because the luba wants to target moldovans and their language is oh. romanian uh do you have oh, any okay. suggestions of how to target Inter uh, interesting interesting case um if um, uh, there are there are also advanced options uh, that uh, you can uh, th that you can place into your ad campaigns. Uh, for example, in Facebook, it's easy. In Facebook, you just put uh, Moldovan uh, into interest, and it will show it will be shown to people from that uh, have something common with Moldova. Yeah. Because uh, uh, you can place, uh, you can even choose place of their birth uh, in Facebook settings. Yeah, when you set up, set up Facebook campaigns, uh, in Google there is um, uh, there is also an option that it is called. Uh, 
it is called audiences it is mostly for display ads yeah yeah as you see language i, I don't know i don't want easy mode okay uh thank you uh <laughs> uh the, there is a, a special option it is called then to skip that part yeah okay uh and we can choose here for example uh our demography segment and at targeting by keywords keywords in that case in case of display ads it's not keywords basically it's not um as uh, keywords that um, show ads it's more than topics topics that these people are interested in yeah uh and uh, you can choose uh them too uh, as you see like software for non-profits animal charities um i don't i'm not sure that it's allows us to uh, choose the country but we can try it search no result uh in that case you can create custom segment uh yeah and add for example something that people from moldova in the us can look around uh, around google for example uh, they are searching news in uh, in kishinev yeah uh, they have some specific uh, uh, of course they have some specific requests yeah uh, in google so you can just do some cast dev and understand what they are looking about the homeland living in the US and create that custom segment from Google from search term terms they look around Google I believe everyone um that's yeah basically that's it uh, that's our that will be our custom segment and uh, you just then you just um choose um news uh, then you just choose geo targeting in the us and you will be sh uh, showing your ads to people who are looking for for okay new model uh who are looking for news in moldova but uh, located in the us I believe it's just, it will work out. Great. Thanks, Yuri. And uh, Luba says thank you very much. 